Hey guys, welcome to our very first premiere video. That's the first time we've ever done this before, so we're all new to this. Um, so what's supposed to happen is, we're supposed to be all watching this together, and y'all supposed to be able to comment, we're supposed to be able to, to reply, and hopefully it's working out like that. Um, we're going to both try to log in at the same time. So if you see a reply from Wayward Wags with the little dash D after it, that's me talking. And if she a dash L, that's going to be Leslie. And if it's not working, if we are unable to log in, then just talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> 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 um, we didn't post a subject about this because it's a big reveal. And um, we've been working on a lot of stuff. Um, now, disclaimer. Because I just saw the look she just gave me. <laughs> Disclaimer, I'm going to say we because it's easier and it flows better when I say we, okay. but we didn't do a whole lot of stuff, <laughs> meaning me. <laughs> she did 110% of the work. Now, how do you do 110% of the work? Because I screwed up 10% of it. She went back and fixed it, so she did 110% of the work. That's right. <laughs> There's a little bit that I did, just creative stuff, but not, not anything compared to what she did. But uh, we filmed a lot in Montgomery and and we've set that up uh, for several weeks worth of videos so that we can get this project done. Again, I say we, but you know. Anyway, um, so we want to take you inside and show you what the inside of the fifth wheel looks like now. Totally different. Yep. It's awesome. It is. It's Come on. Welcome inside. So we started this project probably a week or two after the Thanksgiving trip. Um, so now you can see what all the all the hype's about. So what you'll probably notice first is uh, the curtains that have changed, the balances that have changed, and the walls are now white. The walls are white throughout the whole RV, and we'll take a look at the other rooms here in a second. But we want to start in here and kind of talk you through all the details of all the work that's been done in here. So we'll start here in the little dining room slide where we also have our our chairs. Um, we've, we've had these on here for a while, but I don't think we've talked about them. Um, these are covers that went on the chair. They just slide right on. We got these on, on Amazon and um, they're pretty inexpensive. How, how much were they? For the set, I, it was, oh, goodness, maybe 16 bucks. Yeah, so maybe maybe 50, between 15 and 20 bucks for the set, and we also got another set on the way for the additional chairs because you can slide this out. You have the leaf, bring the chairs out. So we want to make sure that we had that all matched. So before, I had those big boxy balances that were installed throughout the coach, and we initially we talked about just covering those with some fabric, and we did actually, and saw how it looked, and it did look better, but. They were just taking up so much space and kind of killing a little bit of the light. We wanted to take them down and replace them with some curtains, but we didn't want the roller shades to just be exposed. Um, we really didn't want any window treatments to cover the whole, the whole windows. So we went with these with these balances, and these are really in, easy install. If you come over here, and you can see these are just regular, um, regular hangers, regular. Um, curtain rods and with the little short screws they're screwed right into the wall over here there was one single big balance and when you hang the curtain rod you know you have to have some kind of a support and so we didn't want to screw another hole into the wall now there was a bracket already here for the old balances and then there's some screws back there that, that were already in place holding this in place so we replaced one of those screws with this little rod support thing here uh, and it fit right in the hole and it worked out perfectly so that supports that now on to the cool part if you look up here you'll see the cabinets and the way that they look and then you'll look over here and you'll notice something different because these have been removed and this is going to be scouts new habitat 
that Leslie built. We removed the cabinet doors, put in some plexiglass on both sides, and this is the wire door um, because in the current habitat, he has wire up top to let some of the heat escape, where in the built-in, he's not going to have that. So we needed to have uh, a way to where that heat could escape. So this is going to serve as a heat escape and for the door. So the lights are mounted up into the top. So the heat lamp and the UV lamps are mounted up top. Then you just pull this little handle and it opens up and you can see inside where he has all of his little stuff and he'll be able to hang out on it here. Now, one of the biggest um, things that we were worried about was when the TV's on, it causes sound vibrations. So we had to pad the bottom up up here a little bit so that the vibrations will be uh, minimized when he's in here at night and we're trying to watch TV uh, it's not gonna like shake shake him to death and the other thing that we did was on the handle here I just put a little knob protector or a little protector here that way if you do accidentally drop this it doesn't like break your your TV screen it'll smack up against there but it's not gonna do much damage so that's Scout's new house I don't know if you guys have noticed or not, but um, this was already in the RV uh, when we were taking our trips and things like that. But we want to put little uh, personal spins on, on different things in the RV. And uh, if you watch some of the past videos, you know that I do uh, pyrography, which is wood burning art. Uh, so I built, I burnt a little piece to put up here. It's just a little W. It's a little accent piece that we put up there. So one of the other things that we uh, use as an accent piece because I do wood burning is a, a map. So, you know, everybody has their own versions of map and how they track where they stay around the U.S. and where they camp and things like that. So, um, we saw one of the wooden maps at Hobby Lobby, so we picked that up. And as we travel and as we camp in different states, I'll burn the letters of the states into the map and then we'll color it in with a, whatever color we choose at the time to make it look pretty. And it's mounted right up here. So this is our new travel map. We've already camped in Alabama. So I burnt the letters AL in there. We come in that. So as we travel across the United States, that's our travel map. <laughs> Let's go check out the rest of this stuff. <clears throat> you can see the hallway. Well, the whole, the whole RV is white now. Um, we're going to do some before and after video. Uh, probably toward the end of the video, we'll do some before and after, like B-roll, so you can see kind of before and, and after. Um, because just seeing it right now, it's probably hard for you to, to, you know, see in your mind what it used to look like before. But let's go into the bathroom, if we can both fit. Hmm. Alright, we'll start here with the backsplash. And this is just an adhesive backsplash, this is not real tile. But it looks like it is. Um, it's just a little sheet you cut out. Um, mm -hmm. fit. Stick it back there. And it's a good little accent behind the sink. This is white also. And to be a little more creative, we got uh, some 3D decals to put up here. So you got the little tree that rotates all the way around. With the leaves blowing off, which I thought was pretty cool. And then Leslie saw a uh, sign that she liked and asked me to paint so I painted that up yesterday and got that finished up so we got that mounted up on the wall now custom made by WAG <laughs> I think the bedroom is my favorite because it has just so much different cool stuff all consolidated into one little space so if you come right in you'll see the first thing you'll see is the new wall art so um, these are just clings the wall clings decals and it's just a little tree branch um, now you can cut this custom however you want. There were some kind of crazy branches that were shooting off or whatever. You just kind of cut them off as you need and fit them onto your wall, which is really cool. Um, this is the balance for the for the bedroom that we chose. We come over to the other side. There's more wall art on this side and a new decal. Now over on the bed, let me see if I can get back here. So. If you watch the video of us moving this mattress in, we moved the RV mattress out, we moved this mattress in. This was a um, residential king size bed mattress that we brought in um, because the RV mattress is just super uncomfortable. But when we did that, we had little shelves that were here 
and they were too low so when we brought this in we had to take those shelves off and then we had to move them up so we took those shelves and we moved them up but when we did that they were still kind of in the way when we were sleeping and rolling over and we really didn't use them for anything to put anything anywhere so we just decided to take them and, and get rid of them so we did that um but we did install these little guys these little clear holders so we can put our phones in here at night it has a little hole in the bottom to where you can plug your your phone in and you can still charge your phone at night and so we did that on both sides we removed the shelves on both sides and you can see the uh the curtains that we replaced on both sides here also which makes it feel like a bigger space back here now because you don't have the shelves and you don't have those bulky balance boxy things it felt kind of cramped up in there when you're like sleeping inside the slide so now it kind of feels more free and open follow me <laughs> follow me to the back <laughs> so we needed a solution because we didn't have the the shelves we needed a solution for the remote so we have a little command hook, a little hook on the bottom, and a little hook right there. I don't know if you can see it or not. Mm -hmm. And then this guy just hooks right there. And that holds your remote at night. And you can't see it. Leslie picked this little piece up at Hobby Lobby, and it was just raw wood. So she painted this and mounted this up in the middle to kind of give it some more character in the bedroom. I don't know where Leslie got this, but this is my favorite thing, and it says, I cross my heart, and it has the lyrics of the George Strait song, I cross my heart, and the reason it's one of my favorites is because that was our wedding song, that was the first song that we danced to when we got married, and August will be 20 years. Mm -hmm. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> Lucky you! Lucky me! <laughs> so what did we do with the balances? Did we just throw them away? No. No. We didn't throw it away. Why? Because Scout loves running around inside the RV. And he's like free range lizard at the house. And in our trips, he's kind of been a free range lizard too. He can't get under anything. He can't get anywhere. We just measured Scout again for his eight month length check. And last month he was 19 inches long. And this month he's 20 and a quarter inches long. So he's not getting into any little tiny spaces. I mean, he's a pretty big dude. He's bigger than Rocky was and he's only nine months old. So he's gonna be a pretty big, pretty big dude. So we took the balances down and we constructed um, this area back here. Which I'm not finished, but it's work in progress. Yeah, so Scout can get up here and he can run around and he can sit up here and he can look out the window um, so before he was way down here, sitting down here. So he would sit down here and he would have trouble seeing out. So now he can get up here and he can run around. Yeah, th this, uh, the ceiling part of this slide is, um, is painted also, um, because it was that same Beige. grayish, beige-ish, RV-ish color, the weird color. Prepare for a neck cramp. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Blood, sweat, and tears. Literally. Yeah, she got injured a couple times. Yeah, her broke some nails. Eight and when I say broke head. nails, I don't mean like chip the corner off. I mean like snap in half, like bent all the way. Like pulling flesh. <laughs> Isn't that? It was bad. Anybody with fake nails will understand and feel my pain. <laughs> yeah, both hands. Both hands. So she was like, she couldn't. Which slowed me down. Took the project longer because I had to pause. But Lessons learned. Definitely a labor of love. It'll be worth it. We'll enjoy it for years. I do love it. I'm glad it's over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because I'm going to need a month to recoup. <laughs> so we did get some inspiration from some other YouTube channels when we were kind of looking at some of their stuff. And Loftus Party of Six has white throughout their RV. They did their white in their cabinets and everything, which we didn't do the cabinets and everything, but theirs was really nice and made it super bright, made it feel bigger. Um, so we were like, well, that's something that we should probably consider. Mm -hmm. Even though it's brand new RV, and like, man, brand new RV, you're already gonna start painting it. 
That's crazy. So Loftus Party of Six, they were one, and then you, me, and the RV, they were the ones that kind of talked about their balances and stuff. Yeah, she mentioned she took the boxes off and made her own curtains, and I was like, hmm. So we explored that, and it's actually kind of ironic, because one of the Facebook groups that, that we're in, uh, people were talking about just last week about different options for window treatments and stuff, so um, hopefully some of those people who are in the Facebook group are now watching mm -hmm. today and can see our idea, too. Um, Living Light RV, their inside is a white that they just did uh, renovations on. Um, the Gray Adventures, they have a lot of white inside their stuff. Um, and I believe Touring Taste Buds, most of their interior is white. I don't know if they did that on their own or if they uh, bought it that way. Um, I'll have to go back and look at some of their old videos and see. I don't know if you can tell in the video, but it looks a ton brighter. It feels bigger. It feels more like a home yeah, than an sure. RV. That's what I wanted. Yeah, it feels more comfortable. Yeah. It's not your stereotypical RV. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why they don't give you more options for like wall colors and yeah, like carpet colors. This day and age, yeah. Um, I don't know. The RV industry just hasn't caught up with, you know younger people getting into RV. Maybe that is it. Maybe they're still kind of marketing to the retirees and, and you know, that's kind of their more their taste is like the those color schemes. But I mean, with more and more people getting out there younger and full timing and with being able to work on the road and with, you know, internet capabilities and remote jobs and things like that, I mean the R V companies really need to get it together. Pull yourself together, man. Even if it's an optional upgrade, make it available. Yeah, we probably would have paid a little more to yeah. have the color scheme that we really wanted as opposed to having to do it ourselves. Yeah. We don't drink wine. We're not wine drinkers. So mm -hmm. the wine rack is kind of useless for us. Yeah. So I'm going to do something with that. Okay. Surprise? Yeah. Okay. Me my little arts and crafts project. Big fan of gallery glass. Thank you, Mother. So I will probably be using gallery glass and plexiglass to make it a bright, colorful little piece of art. Okay. Instead of a wine rack. Cool. This part's going to look a little crazy because I'm filming on a different day. And we talked about the wine rack earlier and what we were going to do with it. And we hadn't done it yet. And I didn't know if we were going to have time between that time and the editing process uh, to film this, but it turns out we do. So I wanted to make sure that I showed you exactly what we did with the wine rack. So we talked about the, the gallery glass and what Leslie did up here. So between each one of the uh, wine slots, she alternated the gallery glass with uh, some fake plants. Now, the gallery glass is done on plexiglass. Uh, you could do it on glass, but we just figured, you know, in the RV with it moving around, plexiglass was probably a little safer. Now you can see on this side it looks smooth. That's because she did the gallery glass work on the other side and then put the smooth side facing out so you wouldn't see all the rough edges of the, of the work that she did. There's some gallery glass edging that you can use. It looks like kind of like a little magnetic strip, but it's, um, it's just like a gray border area. And so you can see in here... Um, that's this little gray area right here that she used to make the designs and then she colored the red and the frost in between there to get that detail the gallery glass looks like this so the little bottle just has a gallery glass this is a frost and then she used the red for the red after the first day of filming this area you know leslie was like well what if scout jumps up against uh this and, and knocks it open. A, we don't want him to fall out onto the floor because it's a pretty good drop. And B, we don't want this uh, swinging down and hitting our TV. Even though we did put the bumper on here, uh, we don't want that to smack the TV because um, even with the bumper, it still could do some damage to the TV. Uh, so just put some little hinges up here. Um, so these things will swivel and open up when we want to take them out. We just turn these guys like that. And then when we put them in, we'll turn them back. And then that way, if he if he jumps up against the screen there, um, it won't come swinging open and he won't come tumbling out. 
And the last thing I'm going to show you that we filmed out of sequence is the uh, the letter holder. As soon as you walk in the door, we were working on this. Uh, we brought this with us the day we did film uh, to mount this, but you can see um, it was a little too wide right here on the edges. So we were thinking this was going to just just fit right in here, but it was a little too wide to fit in there. So what Leslie did was she built it out a little bit with a piece of wood uh, and then put some. Uh, command hooks on there and that way it'll sit up there and it's it's sturdy it's on there it's not going anywhere so as soon as you come in that'll be our little uh letter mail holder or you know if we have like pamphlets um for places to visit you know you go into the restaurants and you get those like the racks of you know things to do and places to see we'll pick up some of those toss them in there or if there's information um you know when we check into to rv parks um, we'll keep our receipt information in there, contact information, you know, Wi-Fi passwords, stuff like that. We'll all go right here. That way we all know um, where to find it. It's easy in one location. Um, let us know what you think about the, uh, about the upgrades and uh, what all Leslie has done. <laughs> because I really didn't do much other than screw some stuff up. Then... Nothing a little <laughs> electric sander didn't fix. <laughs> so let me explain a little bit about what I screwed up because I mentioned it at the beginning and you haven't do 110 percent of the work and now going back so she was working on it every day during the week while I was well, working every other day because I volunteer twice yeah. a week but on my non-volunteer days I came and worked and you know I worked Monday through Friday so I wasn't able to come out during the week but then on the weekend I come out and help help i thought it would go faster <laughs> we pick up a little speed on the weekends no well i'm not much of a painter now when i say i'm not much of a painter i mean you guys saw the thing that i did in the bathroom so when we're talking about like painting a house mm -mm. Mm -hmm. you're talking about like a piece of art i'm your guy um artsy dude but not really carpentry handy dude um so i tried to help so i was doing the bedroom paint uh, you know like the edges and went on a little little too thick and I had some areas that overlapped and dripped and, and it hardened that way and then so yeah so when I came to paint the actual walls they weren't looking they weren't blending it was a little lumpy <laughs> they, could, they stick out yeah so what would have been just a hundred percent of the work to get the job done now she had to like go back where I was at and like sand over the some of the areas that I painted on and then repaint it and it was just a mess so not only did she have to do extra work all the work I did was for nothing <laughs> I was just doo -doo -doo, just wasting my time <laughs> mm -hmm. if she wanted a mural on the wall in the bedroom I, I could have hooked it right up <laughs> but Priming the edges. <laughs> Trim is not your thing. <laughs> not my deal. Uh, but that's okay. Um, hopefully this premiere thing works out. Yep. And uh, hopefully we were able to interact with some of you guys, the ones who were able to come out for the premiere this, this week. And uh, if you like it, let us know and we'll try to work on doing some more premieres. If you have any other ideas of what we could do, little added touches, that'd be good to you. Yeah, or if, or if we've inspired you to do something, in your RV, um, you know, let us know. Send us a, an email. Send us some pictures. You know, we're on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Um, so just, you know, send us a, a direct message or whatever. We'd like to see some of the cool stuff that you guys are doing too. And um, you know, we're already watched you know several of you guys' channel, and we we subscribe to a lot of you guys. So uh, we are following you guys on your channels too. So um, we'll, we'll see if you post up anything like that on your channels. But um, if you just have a little project or something like that, something cool that you'd like us to see, um, we'd like to see it. So send that to us. Yeah. Um, we will uh, put up some B-roll, uh, some before and afters right now. Um, that way if, if we're in the middle of a chat right now or we're talking back and forth and the video will just cut off. Um, so we want to put a few minutes up there for us to wrap up any conversations or chats that you've got going on in there. Um, we have a lot of great creators that are subscribers to our channel they have great channels of their own um, so i'd encourage you guys to you know kind of browse through the comments you know look at um, who all's in in the room and even after the video post you know just look through there 
and there's a lot of great people so check out their channel um, support each other and uh, we appreciate you guys watching mm. see y'all later bye, bye. Not too shabby. We did a really good job. We did awesome. <laughs> Man, I'm glad we did all this hard work. <laughs>